Hello and welcome back to Volatility 411. I'm Kevin Davitt, part of SIBO's Options Institute, and this is Thursday, January 14th. Another day, another new all-time high for the S&P 500 index. Now, there's been some leadership rotation in recent weeks and months. While big tech continues to climb, the financials and commodities have joined along more recently. We also pointed out the sizable advance on the part of small caps since the end of Q3 last year. The VIX index is back below 22 again. That 20 to 22 level has become the new low end of the range for the VIX index post March of last year. It remains to be seen if that floor stays in place if this rally continues. The Jan VIX futures, which expire this coming Wednesday morning, are trading around 2240 with the Feb 220 higher at 2460. The front of the curve continues to steepen. In VIX options, there's been a three-way trading actively today. It looks like the Jan 22 put sold versus a long Feb 2118 put spread. I'm basing that on prices at execution. It seems like that structure has printed nearly 80,000 times thus far today. U.S. interest rates continue to tick higher with the 10-year yield back above 110 basis points. There's speculation that the Fed board may encounter some internal concerns about the potential for future inflation. The big banks, some of whom will be reporting earnings this week, have done exceptionally well in recent months. The steeper yield curve generally benefits their business model. In big picture, financials play a meaningful role in the S&P 500 index as well as the economy. Is the prospect of a Fed reversal impacting forward volatility expectations? Time will tell. The financials recently surpassed their all-time high watermark. I'll keep an eye on that trend as we move further into 2021. That's Volatility 411 for Thursday the 14th. Thanks for tuning in.